we're out here on the Oregon coast today, and um, we're doing some bobber dogging, some different things, but um, I was just getting ready to wrap a 3.5 maglev. Now you can see I have this thing rigged with a single hook. You can, this is a great way to do this because um, one, it keeps the fish from tangling up in your net. Two, it's much easier to wrap. And three, you get less debris when you're fishing like all these stumps and logs and different things here on the coast. We're up against a lot of structure, so without the two trebles, I'm less likely to get snagged. So that's what the single is. This is a uh, two-aught siwash hook. You can see this, Gamagatsu owner. They all make great ones. Um, you can fish those, and it's a size seven crane swivel. So now I'm gonna wrap this plug for you real quick. So I've got some Washington coon shrimp here, and my best way I've found to do this is take the coon shrimp, and I take the head off, I take the tail off, and then I just left with this tail section of meat, which you can see right here. So right here on this middle eye is a center balance point for the plug, okay? And so what you wanna do is you take the big end of the shrimp, which is the heavier end, and you're gonna put it towards the head of the plug, about right over that center eye. And you see I kind of smash it down, like that so I smash it down so it's nice and flat okay and then I can begin to make my wrap now you see the maglev has bait wrap threads on each side right it's always best to try to start your bait wrap behind this thread you get it too far forward it takes the plug out of balance so the best way to do this is you can just start wrapping it and then you can adjust it as far as where it sits so you get a few wraps on it to where it's um, to where it's holding it in place and then you can see I'll adjust it back to where the wrap is and you kind of mold it with your fingers so that it flattens out and stays balanced on the plug okay then you just simply continue to wrap it and I like to wrap it basically from the head all the way down to the tail if you don't wrap up this very top section right here if you don't wrap that down then what's going to happen is the water is going to get under it and it's going to start to uh, maneuver that bait out of place so I prefer to wrap about half the plug just get a couple of really good times around it and then what you're gonna wanna do when you get to the end of this is you make a couple of half hitches. And so I generally just take them, I turn it over my hand, and I go over the plug, and I tie it in a knot. So I'll show that again. I take it, I just make a knot over my hand, and then I go over the plug. And what that does is when you take your stretchy thread and you break it off, it keeps it from having those weird unwrapped parts. So the final thing is just take it like this, see the tail section's there, break that off, and see now I've got a nice wrap maglet. The meat's all even on both sides. So we've wrapped our maglet, we've got it back on our, our dual locks. And so now you gotta make sure it's tuned. Like I said, it's balanced, that your wrap is centered in the plug. You can see this is fairly centered. So now I'm gonna put this thing down in the water just to make sure it still runs straight. So a lot of times what'll happen is when you wrap a bait, you put it in the water, you'll notice it runs to the right or the left. And it's very simple to just be able to slide your wrap right or left to adjust the weight on the plug. I'm gonna put this plug in the water now and we're gonna see if it works right. There's a great tip for you for steelhead fishing, wrapping with some coon shrimp, prawns, maybe sardines if you're fishing salmon. Finished product.